Glad to see a good showing here of everybody. I have one question before I get started. How many Patriots do we have here? All right. All right. On my personal blog, I, I asked the question is, what does it take to be a Patriot? Does it take being a Minuteman, a, a citizen that is believing in the Constitution? And I went down the state and I went down to the blog and I explained word by word what it means to take the oath. Giving your liberty, your freedom, and your life. What that means. So if, if you want to take a look at on my blog, Joe Fallon in Michigan, and, and you'll see what it means to be a patriot. And I think everybody has taken the oath that is willing to give up their freedom, their liberty, and their life, I think is a patriot. And I thank all for your service. In Michigan, I understand Oath Keepers is, is new. I found out about it just uh, about two weeks after 9-12 in Washington, D.C. And it was a great, great enjoyment and, a, and an eye-opener. And when I found out that Oath Keepers thought like I did, I was, I was ecstatic and I, I couldn't wait to get back to Michigan and try to get something going here and then meet other like-minded people. I want to thank Stuart Rhodes for his comments and his talk shows his blogs, Commander Gelly. A lot of people have asked who joined Michigan Oath Keepers, where, where did he hear about us from? And a lot of times he it was on uh, CNN News. I, I saw Stuart Rhodes. So that had a great impact. Also, I had the opportunity to give an Oath Keeper presentation at one of our local Patriot groups called Medefco. It's in the uh, Detroit metropolitan area. We had 180 people attending and was asked to talk about a little bit about Oath Keepers. And the feedback I got, I, I stole the story, which I really enjoy. I, I stole it from Stuart Rhodes when he talked about 1700, uh, when our, the first Patriot really died, Samuel Whitmore. That's and I, he survived, actually. Yeah, that's right. 18 years later, he died. But I got uh, a lot of feedback on that. People were just amazed on that story. What we have done in Michigan, we went up from that first speech in Modesto. With a matter of a couple weeks, we jumped up like 46 people. From there, I've had requests to stop by and talk to other patriotic groups, Let Freedom Reign, Tea Party groups, 912, and just talk about what Oath Keepers represents. I found that the patriotic groups are eager in our area to hear somebody from Oath Keepers come and speak to tell our story, what it means to be a patriot, the 10 orders we will not obey. I have had people come up after the second presentation, call me up, their leaders call me up and say, can you come back and speak again, and can you swear us in? And it's, I've been amazed on how people have been actually eager. So we want to continue hitting various patriotic groups, because a lot of them may be civilians or civilian potential members, but they also know people that might be in the law enforcement or might be in the military. And if you can win their hearts and souls, what better source to hear about Oath Keepers than maybe a father or a mother for one that is serving in the U.S. military. We have individuals that have been working the gun shops, shooting ranges, talking with law enforcement, National Guard on a weekly basis. Uh, there's a couple individuals that could not make it today that their sole purpose is that they want to make sure that they can contact each sheriff in each county, hold meetings. When the sheriffs won't respond, they're persistent. We have individuals that are uh, passing on literature wherever they go. Parking lots. They see uh, the patriotic cars with, uh, with the stickers on there, passing out the various literature. They're reaching out to everybody they can. Parties. I I've always have cards in my pockets, brochures with me. My sister's in the hospital. Pass out to her person next to her. Her husband's a retired police officer. I gave her an Oath Keeper card. She told me the next day when I visited my sister that her husband is relieved to hear there's a group like ours and that he's interested in it. So in Michigan, what we want to do, we want to continue to probably expand more so. We're, we're pretty strong within the southeast area. That's the Detroit metropolitan area. 
We want to expand more in the central Michigan area and the west side. I think once we do that, <clears throat> we can expand throughout Michigan. The Upper Peninsula, which is almost like a separate state, <laughs> only because it's so long east to west to get to the uh, Wisconsin border. But they're starting pretty good up, up there. They've got a nice, nice following up there. I went up there and had an opportunity to speak. There's a lot of patriots up there. There's a lot of people up there that believe in the Oath Keepers. Uh, it's almost as though it's like, I'm glad Oath Keepers are here, but those are our normal values. But yet, Oath Keepers gives them a chance to express those values. There is one person I do like to get to know. He moved back from Arizona. I emailed you a couple times. This Chico. He's from the west side of Michigan, and that's my home state, my home side. And uh, I'd like to work with Chico on the west side. And we've got a list of volunteers, finally, for Michigan that are willing to help. For an example, Tim. Tim has taken some studies on the Constitution. He wants to set up a program for Oath Keepers and members that are not Oath Keepers and actually start talking about the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Joe, go ahead and introduce your contingent here. Yes. I would like to introduce Steve, Steve Bays, John Barnes, Tim, Wes, and Gary. So we expect a lot of good things the upcoming months. Uh, we've got a lot of people that are willing to help. They're willing to speak out with some great ideas. And we're starting to get organized. And we're starting to work together. And when we're scattered about, we're starting to become more clustered now. And it's going to make it much easier. I thank you for the time. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Commander Gilly.